Two years into the pandemic, we know the drill. As the latest variant spreads across the United States with alarming speed, it should surprise nobody to see a growing number of states and cities re-implementing mask mandates and issuing vaccine requirements that will impact millions of travelers in the coming weeks and months. Top health officials from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, warned yesterday that the highly mutated Omicron variant was spreading so quickly that the country is on pace for a massive COVID wave that will peak in January, reported the Washington Post, wherever you travel in the U.S., it's increasingly likely that at some point you will be asked for proof of vaccination, whether to dine indoors, enter an attraction or catch a sports game or concert in an entertainment complex, for business travelers, proof of vaccination could be required to enter the workplace of a client or partner, as 36% of U.S. employees say their employer now requires vaccinations, according to a recent Gallup poll. Philadelphia is the latest major city to move toward widespread vaccine verification for dining out. Starting January 3rd, proof of vaccination status will be required to get into a restaurant, bar, theater or other venue where food or drinks are served in the city of brotherly love, similar policies are already in place in Los Angeles, New Orleans, New York City, and San Francisco. Vaccination verification is happening on the coasts as well as the middle of the country. Bindle, a health verification app that helps venues verify attendees' vaccine status, has amassed more than 370 clients in more than 30 states, including California, New York, Florida, and Georgia, not to mention Ohio, Texas, Arkansas, and Missouri. Moreover, the company has seen a 10x increase in inbound requests over the past four months. We believe Omicron will drive sharp demand for proof of health along two vectors. It will 1. Change the psychology of the market and 2. Increase the number of places that will want to see verified proof of health, said Gus Warren, Bindle's CEO. Paper vaccination record cards issued by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention are easily faked, and surveys indicate that many unvaccinated Americans are willing to lie about their vaccination status to stay in college or keep their jobs, 